Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to find the domain and range of an exponential function. Quick review on that, guys. When you say the word domain, it pertains to the, to the set of all x values. Pag sinabi namin natin range, it is the set of all y values in a given function. And today, ang target natin is to find the domain range of an exponential function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So ito yung format na gagamitin natin or formation na gagamitin natin for us to easily find the domain and range of an exponential function. We have let f of x is equal to a times b raised to p of x where in this is your exponent plus h. Yung h natin dito guys, this is your asymptote. B an exponential function where p of x is linear and yung p of x natin dito dapat linear guys ha, this is your exponent. So I think domain natin in set notation. In set notation, it is x such that x is an element of all real numbers. Kasi guys, yung domain natin when it comes to exponential function, uh, lagi siyang set of all real numbers. Pero may iba na konti yung sa range natin. As for the range or for the y values, if your a is greater than 0, yung ating range is y such that y is an element of all real number where y is greater than h. Later on, x pay ko sa inyo pa niya. Next, if your a is less than 0, this is your range in set notation. We have y such that y is an element of all real number where h is less than, or where y is less than h. So let's start with example number 1. We have f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. As you can see guys, uh, yung ating uh, p of x is linear. And sir, paano ba natin malalaman if um, a is positive or negative o kaya less than or equal? Tignan nila kung positive or negative. Pero, mag-focus mo na tayo sa domain. Since ito ay isang exponential function, your domain is always x such that x is an element of all real numbers. Ito yung set notation niya. Pero, if you want to express your domain in interval notation, you can write it as this one. We have negative infinity, comma, the positive infinity. Or, sige, nagyan na natin positive infinity. Now, let's move on with the range. Ito kasi may iba sa atin eh. Ito yung palaisipan. For the range of this function, f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. Guys, puntaan nyo to. Look, sabi nito, if a is greater than 0, ito yung ating range. Pero if a is less than 0, ito yung maging range natin. Pero, sir, paano pa namin malalaman if a is greater than 0 or less than 0? Check nyo lang, guys. If the base is positive, automatic, greater than 0. If meron dito negative, automatic, a is less than 0. Clear? Okay. As you can see, wala siya negative sign. This is a positive one. Ibig sabihin, your A is greater than 0, wherein ito yung magiging range natin. So, paano po? As for the range, in set notation, it will go like this. Y such that Y is an element of all real number where Y is greater than, kasi na greater than A tayo, ay greater than 0 tayo, H. Yung H mo dito ay wala. Which is 0. That's why the range of this function is y such that y is an element of all real number where y is greater than... Sir, bakit po 0? Kasi nga po, meron tayo itong plus 0. Kaya po siya walang nalagay dito plus h kasi nga plus 0 siya or 0 yung value ng h na meron ka. Ibig sabihin guys, the asymptote of this given exponential function is 0. Okay? And so, paano naman po yun? Ito yung interval notation. In interval notation, open parenthesis, since greater than tayo, we will start with this one, 0, and then syempre, kapunta dito, that is positive infinity. 
So, yun yung number one natin. Now, let's move on with item number two para mas lalo yung ma-master yung pakuha ng domain at range ng isang exponential function. Now, as for the domain, we have f of x is equal to 4 raised to x plus 1 plus 2. Siyempre, yung domain natin, parehas pa rin. It is x such that x is an element of all real number in citation. As for the interval, ito pa rin. Interval notation is negative infinity, comma, the positive infinity. So, dito tayo na yung ng mas malalim for the range. As for the range, guys, check mo natin. Is it greater than 0 or less than 0? Okay, greater than 0 because this is positive. Your 4 is positive. Ngayon, paano ko kunin nyo ngayon? Gawin mo ngayon dito, y, such that y is an element of all real number per y since positive yung, since tayo ay greater than 0, your y is greater than your h, which is your h is equal to 2. Your h is equal to 2. So ito na mismo yan. Y such that y is an element of all real number where y is greater than 2. Kasi sir, paano naman po yung ating, um, yung ating interval notation? As for the interval notation, we will start here. We have 2 comma, the positive infinity. Ganun lang kadali yung domain at range ng item number 2. Di ba? Hindi naman siya mukha mahirap. Sa huli lang siya mukha mahirap as long as hindi mo alam yung rule kung paano kumuha ng domain at range ng exponential function. Now let's move on with item number 3. We are given f of x is equal to negative 2 raised to x plus 1 plus 3. Now, for the domain guys, eh, yung parin yung domain natin, for a domain, we will have x such that x is an element of all real number. And for the interval notation, as usual, negative infinity and positive infinity. As for the range of item number 3, check that then. Now this one. This is negative 2 raised to x plus 1. Negative, huh? negative. Meaning, your a is less than 0. I think we follow that in pattern. So, as for the range, in set notation, that is, y such that y is an element of all real numbers where y, since less than 0, less than your h, which is 3. So, y such that y is an element of all real number where y is less than 3. Ito na mismo yung set notation ng ating range. Uh, sir, how about the interval notation? As for the interval notation, since less than 2, we will start here with negative infinity. Kasi nga, papunta sa negative infinity yung value ng y natin. And then, yung sa kala naman, this is d, we're in open parenthesis pa rin. And guys, again, let me explain na bakit ang hindi nito, uh, different sa dito, because your, the values of y are going to negative infinity, going left. That's why you will start with negative infinity and then the other one is 3. So, ito na yung mismo process natin on how to determine the domain and range of a given exponential function. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!